I never saw Latin culture on the screen like that. And it really just, it, I was just so filled with gratitude and love knowing that younger generations are gonna have that. Embora. Embora. Oi, Fernanda! <risos> Oi, Jana, que bom te ver! Como é que você tá? Eu vou bem, e você? Bem, bem. Acabei de te ver outro dia, parece que foi ontem. Exatamente, <risos> que bom! Aquele abraço. <risos> But now let's switch to English. Yes. Because we're gonna talk, be talking about Santiago of the Sea. Very excited. Yes. I was checking your credits and looks like this is your first time lending your voice to a character. Yes, it is. I'm so honored that it's this, that it's this show. I love Santiago of the Sea so much. And I was, I am so pumped and was so excited when I, when I got the chance. That's I'm amazing. I'm nervous. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope people like it as much as I did make it. Yes, yes. So, Queen Solara, what, what do we, tell me any, something about her and what did you, what do you like the most about her? Queen Solara is, is my hero, you know, Queen Solara is just one of those characters where, you, where for me, it was really about finding the strength, the courage, the power of the queen but the heart, the tender heart um, that drives her in everything that she does of a good queen, you know, um, which is very, which is, which is very specifically different than, than any leader, any king or queen. Um, I think a good queen really leads with her heart, with a heart of service and, and her power is the kind that empowers others. And I think you really, I tried to really soak Queen, Col queen Solara in that, And and I think and I think you see you know her love for Nim for the Nimbus and for Celestia, and and her joy. I think you really you really see her love in her joy for her home, and and when she and, you know when she welcomes people in, you can tell how much she loves it. Yeah, yeah, she's that was she, a through line amazing. for me. Yeah, <laughs> she's amazing. I, I was I was watching some of some of some of the episodes. And what do we can expect of her on these episodes? I know some, maybe it's a spoiler for little kids, but <laughs> what do we can expect no. of her? You know, I think that we we actually find, even though we meet Queen Solara and it's a really joyous um, greeting where you get to see Celestia and stuff, I think you really meet her in a quite vulnerable time for her. You meet her at a time where things are not going her way and she's having to take some measures that she really wishes she didn't have to, you know, um, giving away sky nectar, which is their nurture, their, you know, their food, their very sacred food. Um, but it's, it's her only way of protecting her kingdom. So you kind of find her in a really vulnerable place and yet she still has that heart um, that steadiness, that strength, and that capacity to see, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel. And I think that even though she inherently has all of that, she is in a place where she does need help. And when the pirate protectors come in, they really do, you know, they, they, and I think you see, you see her gratitude throughout how, how much they help her and what a good team they end up making. Because I think, you know, that, the willingness to work together that they find through that common goal that is that is the right thing you know and to seeing them work together and stuff like that i think that's also the quality of a good leader for her as well as santiago you know like two leaders coming together and being able to work together as one you really see that in the show each person coming each character that is so different coming together and really pulling through some challenging times You really don't, as you're watching it, you're like, I don't know how they're going to make it out of this one, but they do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. And also this experience to, to lend your voice. How was, how was the, the recording booth? How did you feel? You thought it was too much challenge. How was like this? It's a new experience for you, right? It was, it was a new experience for me. You know, I, 
I, I was a little bit nervous, especially because there's a song that Queen Solara sings and I'm not, um, you know, I, I, I've never done that before. So it was a new challenge and I was really excited about it and a little bit nervous. So I practiced a lot. My husband's a musician, so he had me go into his friend's studio and kind of go over it before to make sure that I could do it. Um, but really, the you know, the Santiago team really helped me. You know, Julian Rebollero is the, is the, um, the director and he really guided me through that and made it a lot smoother and easier. And it was just so fun to, to, to do that with him. Um, and it was freeing because I, you know, for my, I, I love my, my job as an actor on set for TV and film, but it is, there's so many other elements, um, that come with, you know, your, you have to hit your mark and you have to face a certain direction and you have to be aware of things and you have, you know, so all of those things are all of a sudden lifted. You can just be Queen Solara and it was such a breath of fresh air for me. Not to mention the, just the enthusiasm and the energy of the show, you know, it's so dynamic and it's so fun. And, and I remember I would spend all day and I was so excited the whole time. And then I come home and I'm like, I think I need to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of output because, you know, it's a different kind of energy than when you're on set and you're breaking all the time. It's one, you know, it's the whole way through. Yeah. kind of knock out everything all at once so it's a lot of hours and it's it was yeah. really really fun I yeah. hope I get to do it again yes and then you have to put all this this acting through your voice you know what I mean right? exactly <laughs> yeah and that was a challenge too it's like okay you have to re really soak even though it's, it's my voice I really did want it to sound like Queen Solara you know I didn't want it to sound like Fernanda so how do I soak these characteristics and um these traits of her through me so that you can feel it in her voice. You can feel her strength and her power, but you can feel her kindness and her tenderness and her love um, through it as well. So I, I tried my best to have that come through. Yeah, it was really good. And, and those shows, like those bilingual shows that we have lately, especially Santiago of the Seas, I think it's, it's one of the best ones that we can watch right now how important yes. for you that to be part of projects like these and for the little kids that they're gonna watch English Spanish one day we're gonna have English and Portuguese <laughs> maybe you never yeah. know yeah um you know it's so important it's I think you know when I when I moved to America and I had to learn English and I learned Spanish as well I think even though I moved to South Florida where there are a lot of immigrants it still felt um, it still felt quite a disconnected and lonely experience. And certainly when I, you know, looked at the cartoons and TV shows and animated series and movies, and I, I didn't really see, I didn't really see myself in it. And certainly not in the way that Santiago of the Seas has done so well, which is mixed Latino culture uh, with English, you know, with American culture um, so seamlessly in a way that really, you know, I live in Highland Park in Los Angeles where my neighbors speak Spanish and I go to the store and I speak Spanish. So I may be speak en speaking English to my husband, but I say, hola, buenos días, que te va a bien al, al vecino. And then, you know, I talk to my to, to my parents on the phone in Portuguese and I go to the store and I, and I, <laughs> and I get my food in Spanish. So it is very much a reality um, for me. And it was as well when I moved to Florida. Um, and I think more and more it is everybody's reality, not only of not only of the immigrant or of the first generation or of the multicultural American, but of people being exposed to that. And it's their friend and it's their family member or it's their teacher or it's their student. And I think it's really an invaluable thing to have shows like this plant these seeds in kids at kindergarten age so that they can see themselves first of all, but also take away the foreign aspect of that, you know, that it is, that it is seamless, that it is normal, that it is life, um, because it is, it is rich and it is mixed. Um, so watching it, even for me, you know, I'm, a, I'm very much an adult, but watching it for me made me really tenderize my heart. I was like, oh man, I never saw that. I never saw Latin culture on the screen like that and it really just 
it, I was just so filled with gratitude and love knowing that younger generations are going to have that. I have a little niece, her name is Max, and she watches Santiago Vistis. And I just cannot wait for her to watch these episodes because even though she was raised in America, she speaks Portuguese because my sister's Brazilian, but she goes to a bilingual school where she speaks Spanish as well, you know? So I think just seeing her watch that and to be able to see herself in it and identify is just, you know, one more barrier that that we can just throw in the trash. Yeah. <laughs> it's so I nice. Know. I know. You I know, know, we need that to be remembered about our oneness. Yes. And then we have all these projects coming out, not just for the Latinos, also for the Asians. And I think it's so amazing because it's a melting pot of culture here, especially in Los yes. Angeles. And, and we need to see us reflect there. I, I love that. And, and, and aside for Santiago of the Seas, any other projects coming up for you soon? Yes, I did two movies last year that I think should be coming out sometime this year. Um, one of them is called Finest Kind. It's directed by Brian Hagel and who's incredible and Ben Foster and Jenna Ortega and Tommy Lee Jones are in it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful story and I can't wait for it to come out. And, and then I did another movie called uh, Spider and Jesse with McKenna Grace, the super talented young actress, McKenna Grace, um, and Jesse Williams. And it's directed by a first time director, Dan Kay. And it's just such a special story about these two sisters um, that that are facing some tough times. You know, it's, 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 yeah. I'm really excited for both of those films. It was such a, it was such a treat to be able to make indie movies last year, you know, the last few years. Um, have not been kind to indie movie making, so I'm really excited to to yeah. be a part of it. I hope so too. <laughs> no, I yeah. can't wait to watch them. And and <laughs> if you if you have to give an advice to 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 the Latinos our artists that want to pursue a career in Hollywood, what advice would you give to them for the ones that speak Spanish, the ones that speak Portuguese? You're allowed to be here. Take up space. Yeah, let's be You belong long. here. <laughs> you belong here. You know, just dive head first into it. There's no map. There's no map of how you get into it. I think if you know it in your heart, you find it. You know, I didn't come from a family of artists at all. I mean, I think everybody's got a little bit of an artist in them. I see it in my parents. I see it in their people. My dad is an engineer. My mom was a teacher. And when I said I want to do this, they were like, uh. <laughs> you know, they were like, why? So, but, you know, I think, I think now more than ever, there is space and there is hunger for it. And, and we're ready to see people as, as they are. And what a gift. Amazing. Ah, Take Fernanda. It. Yeah. <laughs> Just want to thank you so much for your time. Muito obrigada. Thank you so much, Ana. Obrigada a você. Adorei te ver, viu? Um prazer. Um prazer. Always a pleasure to see you. And we, we're going to see each other soon. I hope so. I um hope prazer you. mesmo. Ah, saudade. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tchau. Até mais. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here. <laughs>